would you feel if you went to a school and couldn't play sports or take part in any extracurricular activities? That is what students at Cato Public Charter School are going through. Kyla Jackson tells us why and what it could take to change it. Since 2019, leaders at the Cato Public Charter School have been fighting for their students to participate in sports and extracurricular activities, like the debate club within the Mankato Area Public School District. However, due to state bylaws, right now, charter school students are excluded from these opportunities, even though homeschooled students are not. I mean, it was pretty sad. I was pretty upset about it. Like so many high school students, Joanna Hernandez Cano has dreamed of playing soccer, but for Joanna and many other students, that goal remains out of reach. We have like, in elementary school, we kind of dreamed about, you know, when we got older, we'd be able to play for our school, but things happened and we wouldn't be able to do that. And that kind of sucked for us. Hernandez Cano attends Cato Charter Public School, which doesn't have sports teams or the option to play for one of Mankato's public school teams. Mankato superintendent says the state league is a big part of the reason why. So the Minnesota State High School League sets the uh, participation guidelines for kids across Minnesota who want to participate in co-curricular activities. And so uh, Mankato Area Public Schools through East High School and West High School are members of the Minnesota State High School League. And it's through their bylaws um, that help direct school districts to make decisions as to um, who can be allowed um, and then who's restricted from playing on um, school teams. Right now, the Mankato Area Public School District has 11 co-op cooperatives with other districts for sports and extracurricular activities. Cato Public Charter School is not one of them because District 77 hasn't signed a cooperative agreement with them. Cato's principal says that should change. I'm really fighting, like I said, for those middle schoolers that want the opportunity to experience it and maybe your next star, maybe your next basketball star, maybe your next football star. They don't know and you don't know. I don't know. But I want to support them in any opportunity they may have to experience that because I feel like MAPS is taking away a life experience that a student may have the opportunity to engage in. Baxter stresses that only a small percentage of students want to participate in sports or extracurricular activities. So there should be a pathway to figuring out a way for those students to participate. In Mankato, Kyla Jackson, KEYC News Now.